Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Leviathan Crew mod. Before, well, uh, first of all, we're going to with friends like these. That is normally the Battle Cruiser mission where you play as the Hyperion, but I was told that we should go here first by the mod maker, by Penny Royalty, so I'm going to listen. And uh, second of all, I wanted to say that you may have noticed that in the last couple missions, there have been some up, there's been issues with updating of the bank file. So uh, the bank file is what like saves all the stuff from mission to mission. And there's two of them in this mod. The one that contains stuff like the number of stalkers, the number of hunter killers, the amount of biomass, that sort of stuff was not properly updating. And it was causing some issues. It has been fixed now. This is why we do testing. And it should be good to go. Obviously, we're going to make sure that it's good. Uh, I don't know if the bio biomass uh, totals are correct anymore. And we are playing as a Leviathan. What a... What a little chat over here we got. I like to see that. Uh, so, yeah, the bank files are now probably properly working. We're just going to keep an eye out. I think my biomass might not be correct for the rest of the run. I think I have less than I'm supposed to. That's fine. Don't really care. I could probably give up another 300 biomass and still be fine. V. Leviathan Wormhole. Or steel target location. Good for... <laughs> I just had an idea in my... <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I don't think that it should uh, be implemented into any mod ever. We do not do much damage, but it would be very funny. So, you know, in uh, Lost Vikings, when the Leviathan is like up here and then he goes, uh, he like shoots his tentacles down and you have to dodge them. <laughs> Instead of a wormhole, imagine he shoots the tentacles and then he pulls himself into the tentacles as a movement thing. He just hits like random pieces of space and uses that as a dash. Oh, that'd be so stupid. This is why I don't mod because no one would play my mods. They'd be so bad. <laughs> okay, we got Muta fighters, huh? On you for Yuta. Oh! Mutalisks are, mutalisks are real people. Okay. Uh, ooh. Okay, let's take a look at this. Mutas have 150 HP, 0 armor, 9 damage, and HP regeneration. That's, uh... That's really interesting. So we actually... We actually want to be... Usually you want to, like, kind of... You don't want your attack fighters to die, but often you have to use them to tank for... Hyperion. But I think in this setup, because the Leviathan's not doing much damage. Tentacle, that's ground versus air. Yeah, they don't do a whole lot of damage. And I think that what we want to do is... Oh, that's good. That's responsive. Yeah, so we use Mr. Big Bottom as the tank. And then we use the Mutas to swarm around when they're busy fighting a Leviathan. I have to try this again. I'm sorry, the bioplasmid discharge was, like, so much snappier than I'm used to for, like, any ability. I mean, Starcraft is pretty snappy, but, like, we just go. Yeah, he turns quick and he just fires it instantly. That's good. No Yamato charge up or anything. Same damage as Yamato. So it does look like, yeah, there is more micro involved here. However, we do have, uh... I like... <laughs> Can we just discuss this with her? I love the Leviathan arm photobomb at the beginning. That's so good. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh my goodness. Investigate the derelict fueling station. We can do that. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I think I have a, I have a very good idea. So if we just take one muta up here. I have figured out how to deal with magmines. <laughs> I mean, this guy is big, right? Like, he's really easy to hit with the magmines due to his size. So, I think that <laughs> I think that's the smart way to do it. You can do that with TAC fighters too. However, it's a little bit less uh, controllable because they are more like weird interceptor things. But having all the fine detail control. Oh, that was nice. One sec. So we put these on follow. And then we warp. That is not the outcome I thought was happening. <laughs> what? Okay, they all worked that time. 
these sure. or equipment. Oh, we leveled up to level two, so we get another Muta. I like that. And we're just gonna pop on over this way for a second. This is a nice little time save you can do on this mission, is if you go up here, instead of going straight to the pirates, you can lose all your mutas to a magmine. Uh, we can take down the ship spawner, and then Matt will actually just start doing stuff for us. He'll start clearing out. Okay, we gotta make... Ooh. So, our mutas are good, but it's not regenerating any mutas. So, it looks like we have to get repair bots to do that. Right? Interesting. Very interesting. So their limited resource is... Leviathan is regenerating energy. So it does that. And it's actually doing it pretty quick, which is nice. So it's just the mute account that is a very limited resource we have to be very careful of. I love that. Like, he comes over, he starts shooting the battle cruiser. the mutas go in, take down it. Like, it... Or start shooting the Leviathan. It's like, it actually just feels really good to play. I like this. And then we're just going to continue bioplasmiding this. Perfect. Nice work. Let's keep pushing forward. Matthew, that was very rude. Fully automated oh, oh. bases are quite <laughs> expensive. Matthew, no. Oh, he didn't get hit by it. That's good. Matthew, no! <laughs> okay. Do we get our charge back? We do. We do, we do, we do. So, we're going to have to use the limited resource of the Mutalisk Warpins. And then try to use the also limited resource of the heal bots in order to maximize how many Mutas we get. Good to know. We're just going to try to bait these a little bit. Oh gosh, that ordnance tower has got the ordnance, huh? This is no ordinary ordnance tower. And we got the little boss guy over here. The boss baby. I never saw that cinematic masterpiece. I assume it's about this. Yeah, the Leviathan feels great. I like it. Uh, partially because it turns really fast, which is nice. Uh, the Hyperion is not the most responsive ship in the Krapulu sector when you're playing it on this mission, and that's by design. It turns way more slowly than this does. And yeah, it may be by design, but that doesn't mean that it's... Run! Run! We're fine. Yeah, we dodged it. Oh, what a legend. Okay, it's over here. Just paying attention. Looks like we're gonna lose a lot of our mutas here. Nope, dodge. I see what you're trying, but I ain't buying. Uh, you for you for mutas is weird. <laughs> I'm not making a utilisk. Take him down, broadside him. We got it. <laughs> we got it. That was a good fight. I think I did a pretty good job dodging most of the stuff, and then pop all these. I don't think the healing bot healed the mutalisks because that is just the rapid regeneration over here. Let's get it installed, Chief Engineer. It's already online, Scooter. We can head on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Junker Battle Cruiser. You're in the wrong mod, sir. Mutalisks can fly through small asteroid and debris field. Okay. Um, this guy's gotta use his big arms though to pull himself over. Let's take this over. Oh missile pods! Why has he got so many missiles? Use our new stasis stun uh, it doesn't work. Uh, does this stun? Yeah, it's the same stun as normal. I, it just doesn't work on heroic. Yeah, no heroic, no structure. Got it. That wasn't bad. What is wrong with that woman? 
Rainer's dropship fuel. Dead man's port and she starts to look like a normal one. I'm sorry, there's like extra things going on, and that's awesome. I love it when these voice lines are being used, but also Rainer's dropship fuel has had its fuel reserve. Yeah, dropship. Okay, are we getting Jim Rainer? For like, is he? I think that's all the minerals around. Is he our new fancy guy? Like, when we eat conviction, is Jim just gonna be here? <laughs> gonna be like inspiring our troops, like hero of the storm, Jim? That would be amazing. Actually, I'd prefer to have Matt Horner, though. I mean, this is kind of the mission about him. And I think that given that he accidentally won Mirahan in a poker game, that's like the lore behind them, is, I think that it would be perfect if we won <laughs> Matt Horner from this mission. <laughs> You're married to the Leviathan now, Matt. Okay, we're gonna do a big stun. Oh gosh, we're we're gonna do geometry. Gotta go full Hanzo here. We're good, and then we're gonna fire the Bowie plasmid and keep on moving. Let's hit level four. Oh, yeah, level three. Sorry, that's upgrade two, not for. I just run into a missile. Giant Grant Lames, what are you doing? Take down the Ordnance Tower. Give him the stun. We're going to be able to pick up the thing, so it doesn't really matter that the Mutas are dying. As long as we just get damage on the target. And we're going to fire this over here. All those are dead, but we just make an entire new batch. It's like when you burn the cookies, but, you know, infinite Mutas instead. I say infinite, but this is, like, the most limited you'll ever be on Muta production in StarCraft. We probably only got, like, 100 of them total on this mission, though 100 is way more than we need, I think. I hope. <laughs> I don't know, this final area can be a bit spooky, you know? It definitely can be, like, the Halloween special of StarCraft. Uh, we're gonna move backwards because Matt, Matt doesn't, er, Valerian doesn't get to tell me what to do. Mag mines, mag mines, everything is gonna be fine. Then we can get to, or we're gonna get very close to max level. Another Muta companion. And we are going through the final pass. I think we're going to do both no-build missions today. I got a little bit of time. And I don't, I don't think Conviction is normally long enough to require its own episode, you know? I don't want to overtime people, but I don't want to undertime them as well. I'll keep a nice steady momentum. It's called Stepmo. Runs off Egonergy. All right, now we have some battle buddies, and we're gonna have our maximum level. It's always a bit concerning when the 50,000 magmines are flying towards you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stun here. Muta's on that one, Bioplasmin on the other, and we are making progress. Matthew, don't think I will make this easy on you. When have you ever made anything easy on me? I always mm -hmm. thought you like it, Roth. Oh, we don't do that. We can target it. And we'll take down the Organics Tower. Oh, the Yamato my Muta. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Sir, I would much prefer the Leviathan. He can take it. He's he's built to last. It's one of those buy it for life units. Oh, the stun is insane. It's so much better because it's long range and targeted compared to the electrical discharge that you normally have. The range makes it phenomenally useful. And the, uh, the electrical stun in the base game is already amazing. It's like super good. Okay, we are making our way forward. We got one more starport to deal with. 
They hurt my Muta again. I'm so offended. And then the battle cruisers have gone to Just war. Surrender, Matthew. I'll be nice to you, I promise. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, I'm <laughs> it's got a while. It's got like a rev up time before it really gets to full speed. The Leviathan does. Oh, he's like a truck. He's got that momentum. It's uh something you got to deal with. Oh, he takes a lot of damage too. Oh, that's not good. I don't have insurance on those. Done. Muta Muta. Teleport over here. We want to go this way. Up. Into the... Uh. We're fine. We're Mutas. Oh, this fight's uh, harder than normal. A little bit. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We got it. We scooted it. Stop. Stop. You win okay. Matthew. Thank you. I win Matthew. Wait, I win Matthew. Perfect. It worked. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Matthew. That is it, finally the day has come. I've been waiting for this for years. He is our friend now. All right, so let's go do the next mission. Why not? Um, what would be good in this place? Malignant Creep, maybe. Um, Carapace, because we want to keep everybody alive. I don't think these are going to be useful at all. I don't see any use on these, but I'll get reconstitution just in case. Mm, whatever. I don't think those are going to have any value either. And then I, I'm, we're pretty good on these. All right. Time to Let's convict Jim. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, is is this name actually like a double thing where Jim was convicted? Because always, you know, it's obviously about Kerrigan's conviction. That's like the obvious one. But Jim's a convict. I don't know. Probably not. Okay, let's get some chitinous armor. We're gonna get some other armor. We're gonna get armor and armor. And then for these guys, we're gonna get jet lurkers <laughs> because they move while moving. And that's not something that you can normally do. You have biomass? No. <laughs> that's completely normal and fair. Um, This seems fair. I totally see how this was uh, <laughs> a good idea. Oh, beautiful. I like it. I wonder if there's much value in actually saving units in this mission. I'm not... Oh my gosh, detection. How could they? Move forward, move forward. Oh, they targeted down the lurker, even though it was out of range before. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna lurk more. Because if they detect you, the answer is to have more invisible things. Witchcraft? Starcraft. Alright. Here they go. It's beautiful. I mean, eventually you just hit a point where lurkers are unbeatable, right? They just lurk so hard. Get him, Kerrigan. The Kerrigan mend me. <laughs> Didn't work. Uh, mend me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait, no, don't go that far. Don't go that fast. Uh, well, we gotta go over here to help her. It's fine. Oh, these lurkers are insane. They're amazing. Oh, what a great unit. I'm so glad the lurker is in this. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's just annihilating it all. Let's get a little bit of the money over here. Uh, I saw some things over there, but it's actually just crew member. I don't care about crew. 
We think this is a crew mod? What does that say? An incinerated infantry member. <laughs> incarcerated infantry member. Previously served on the Orca Warriors Battalion aboard the Hyperion. Beautiful. I love it. So I do care a little bit about them. Or I used to. Go, go, go! Try not to get tanked a little too hard. Easy peasy. Grab the money. And we got infestors. Oh, okay. I don't actually I don't want to have the investors spoiled for me, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna save them for next mission. I know that might be a mistake, but I just kinda feel like learning what they do when we unlock them for their mission. I keep getting these upgrades. And then we're gonna have to charge in here and do a lot of damage. Oh, I don't have any money. Pull back. Kerrigan, they Perfect. The primary bulkhead. You're going to have to break through. I was like, how do I move Kerrigan there? It's over here first, right? It's like, uh, buh, 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 buh? Yeah, I think so. Should be good with just the lurkers. I think they're going to be able to do this without any losses on my side. Obviously, we're going to keep these guys in the next area just in case. She's breaking into maximum security. Stop her now. And we can go over here. Let's just get some of these Zergling upgrades. Bravo engaging. Send back it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Heavy weapons are moving in. Be careful. Oh no, not hammer securities. Minions, defend our queen. Good, good idea, Zagara. You're not gonna send me anybody else. <laughs> Thank you. The mission, is, the way that it picks its reinforcements, is based on what you've lost. I just haven't lost anything during this segment. Which, uh, it'd be kind of nice if he gave you the biomass differential. You know. Like when it's like, oh, I can't spawn anybody, so here's some biomass instead. Kerrigan, it's Horner. The security station near uh, you the ship's prisoner lock. They really want me to use investors, but I really, really want to learn what they do later. Kerrigan, there's a large number of guards nearby. Don't worry about this. We're going to implant virophages at these garrisons. You're burrowing. It's time for the infested to do their part. See, the, they can actually just kind of walk forward into it, too, because they have such amazing regenerative capability when they're AoEing stuff down. It turns out that Lifesteal plus AoE is actually a very good combination. Oh, we gotta move an Infestor over there. Well, good thing we saved them all. I think you usually have to move Kerrigan there, right? On this mission, and then it's Infestors on Infested. Well, we can do this. I'm fine with this part of the Infestor's duties. Oh, they can do a wall road. And then I guess we just start pushing. Gonna make the Great Wall of Lurker and move slowly forward. Oh, nice perdition turret. Bet you wish it could attack while burrowed. <laughs> you have to pick one or the other loser. Ow, ow. Stop it. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. Bait the Thor into the infested. We're getting some fancy infested this time. This is way better than what you normally get. And we can... Oh no, drop a couple creep tumors. Why not? Oh, we didn't get that one. Or we lost it. Either way, it doesn't matter. We already cleared this stuff, and we're going into the next location where our little shark friends can just blow everybody up. We got Shark Boy, but where's Lava Girl? <gasps> this is fine. And then the Reapers. <laughs> Somebody call! No, nobody called. I, I look forward to the day where AI Kerrigan, at the end of this, uses the leap in order to do the Out of Bounds blog. <laughs> Deck. That would be the dumbest thing ever. Blurred, the man. Blast it. We're 
Alright, monkey forward. Garrigan, do your stuff. You tank, lurkers annihilate. Just keep mending. Now we dive the Thor, and we take all these down. Easy. That's her name. We're healed. Yeah, we're healed. We don't need to slap Kerrigan. It is very funny to slap the heals out of her, but... Because everyone always says that Kerrigan's heals are silly looking anyway, so you gotta slap them out. Take them for the Leviathans. Leviathans will look great in heels. Er, not Leviathans, Aberrations. Sorry, I was thinking about, uh... I was thinking about this tentacle that was extending. Oh, He's got, like, little spot marks on him. I wonder if they're itchy. Where do we go? The whole side of Man, the being an itchy Leviathan would be the worst thing ever, wouldn't it? That would just be so bad. Enough. You wouldn't be able... I don't think they have the flexibility to scratch themselves, and they're so big. Get to the escape pods. Go, 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 go. This is the prison deck. There aren't any escape pods. Lab bot, you got biomass? I wish I could target the prisoners. I left some. Oh, it's just the infestors. I don't care about them. I mean, I do. I just care about them next mission when we actually. It's just we don't have that much stuff to unlock anymore, and I don't want to like early do it, you know? I don't know if that's a dumb philosophy, but, like, I want to have stuff to be excited for, because excited stuff is exciting. These guys are so good, the aberrations. They just destroy everything. I said this in the previous mission, but legit, they're better than ultras in a lot of missions. And it's, like, not even close. Really, only the Tarasque is uh comparable and even then okay we got this roger that thank you kerrigan level everybody oh i'm gonna leave the zerglings over here we have a long time until the ship explodes which means i think we just no the tanks are gonna blast here we probably do need to send the lings in in order to keep the heavy stuff safe remember that 10 lings is the same price as one levi or one why do I keep calling these Leviathans? As one aberration? Try not to take the big tank shots and just keep the... Keep the big boys alive. Alright. We're gonna have a ton of biomass after this mission. That's her name. So, do we, do we really get a gym? Oh, I'm so excited to see if we get a gym. We fueled this dropship. I know that we're not actually getting Matt. But, oh, it'd be so good to gym. 778. Wow. Alrighty. Well, we are back up there, and as I said, we could probably get rid of 400 of it and still be fine in this mod. Which, uh, maybe. We'll see. Alright, Kerrigan, you get like a billion levels here, right? 59. So, 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 so. We're going to have to take a look at those at the beginning of the next mission. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.